you actors would keep out of here. I'm having enough trouble with that monkey. You're an unmitigated brute, sir. Okay, Ham, go fry an egg. See here, Macintosh. You've cut Geraldine's lip. Did that shame. <laughs> I should report your outrageous conduct to the Humane Society. Go ahead. And while you're reporting, tell them about this. See? That's where that hairy she-devil scratched me when I was feeding her. Fighting the hand that feeds her. Tolerance and the milk of human kindness would soon win her to your side. Listen, actor, I'm handling that monk. And if she goes for me again, she up. Get out of here! If she goes for me again, I'm gonna take a pop at her, and I won't use no blank bullets either, see? Don't you remember the story of the hunter who pulled the thorn from the lion's paw? Yeah, I remember. The same lion ate the hunter and lived happily ever after. Uh, you're impossible. What? It'll be cooler in September. September. Thank heavens we will be here then. Any word for man, Greg? Not a thing, my dear. Not a thing. You hope he gets here on time? Uncle Simon, I won't leave without seeing him. Oh, perhaps he's marooned a hundred miles up the river. And he? He knew we were leaving, so I couldn't be away My dear Gertrude, the plantation needs plantation. him. Plantation. Natives, insects, heat, even the matches won't strike. I tell you, if I ever get back home again, I'll never leave them. Yeah. He's coming. He's there. Oh, well, it's about time. Master here. Bring Tonga flowers. 
see pretty flowers? Andre. Darling. Oh, it has been terrible to leave without seeing you. The river was out of its banks. We barely managed to get through. I don't want to go. I won't go. Come young lady. We have exactly ten minutes to catch the boat. Uh, yes, yes, we're late. Oh, we better hurry. We better hurry. Samuels made you a leading lady. You're not taking this theater to this too seriously, are you? Gary, I've got to tell you. Bad news. I feel it. I want to end our engagement. I thought that was it. I'm sorry. Who is it, that actor? Mr. Thornton.
over there, will you, dear? Boss. Wiley. Yes, darling. Do you really love me? How can you ask? I just wanted to hear you say it. <laughs> Wiley. Mm-hmm. Do you honestly think I might get that lead with you in New York? A lie would have been a minute it's set. Just you and me. It'll be wonderful. Mm. attended to Doris Manning. Now, please don't bring her up again. But I will. You see her more often than you do me. I've told you a dozen times. She isn't much of an actress. I have to coach her on almost every line she speaks. After all, she's my leading lady. And if she's bad, I, I can't do my best work. Lola says you're in love with her. What the devil does she know about it? Please don't be angry. Well, I wish you'd quit harping on Doris Manning. There's one thing I dislike, it's a jealous woman. I won't mention her name again, ever. All right. Now you're angry with me. No, I'm not, beautiful. Darling. Uh-huh. Why were you hiding that picture of Doris in the table drawer? Oh, for the love of... Now what do you want? I told you I wanted to talk to you. All right. Now that you're here, what is it? It's about a niece. Again? Yes. Her happiness is the most important thing in my life. So what? You know what women mean to you. So far as you're concerned, Denise is just another girl. I'm tired of your melodramatics. Don't think a niece will ever leave here with you. I'll kill you. I've warned you. <laughs> if it's as bad as you look, it must be terrible. <laughs> Hello, dear. Harry just left. I hope he didn't mind my not staying. Well, he didn't seem very cheerful about it. Well, I didn't feel like talking. A midnight chat with you seems like old times. I've hardly seen you since you started carving out a career for yourself. You don't like it, do you? Oh, it's all right. I'm old-fashioned, I suppose. You're an old-fashioned dear. <laughs> Dad. Yes? Wiley's leaving Saturday for New York. And I'm going with him as his leading lady. Thornton's married, isn't he? He's getting a divorce. And after you reach New York and share his dramatic triumph, he intends to marry you? Yes. Does his wife know he's divorcing her? They're separated. He hasn't seen her for years. Then she doesn't know. He doesn't even know where she is. Mr. Thorne, the secretary speaking. Oh, good morning, Doris. 
Yes, Mr. Thornton is here. In just a moment, I'll call him. For you, darling. Hello. Yes, I feel fine this morning. Didn't sleep so well during the night, though. Of course I haven't forgotten. But I had to autograph those pictures, you know. Uh, I'll be leaving in about five minutes. You bet. Lunch at the Brownlee? Uh, yes, yes, the play arrived this morning. We can read it after the show. What? Huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, dear. We, we can't this afternoon. I have to see my manager. I knew you'd understand. I'll meet you in 20 minutes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Get out of here and stay out. Don't lose your temper, my love. Supposing she'd come here instead of phoning. After all, I am her secretary. <laughs> Secretaries are usually found at their typewriters. Really? I didn't know. This is the last time you've pulled this stunt, see? I won't have it. Oh, yes, you will, sweetheart. A wife has some rights. Particularly an undivorced wife. If Doris Manning smelled her at, she'd back out like that. And we can't afford to lose the Manning millions, can we, dear? Keep on, keep on. You'll throw a monkey wrench in the whole works. Oh, you'd find words to soothe the troubled waters. Your lips barely drew honey when they want to. That's how you got me. I wish some of the same could get rid of you. Ah, <sighs> what is life without you, my sweet? Each hour away from you is an agony of torment and despair. Each day a purgatory of waiting, waiting for the night. And the sweet caress of your tender lips. You cackling boudoir rooster. I was the only woman in your life. The glorious sunburst on the dark horizon of your lonely days. And the very night you married me, you had dates with two of your ex-sweeties. Oh, but darling, don't you understand? These other women, they mean nothing to me. Simply stepping stones on the pathway to our happiness. And I fell for it. I believe you, you bedroom Ananias. I loved you. I laugh myself sick when I think about it now. But I used to sit in my room and cry over you. Till I got next to my... Given me, you big baboon. But you're going to pay for every bit of unhappiness you've caused me. And you're going to pay for it the only way it hurts you. Through your pocketbook. All right, all right. You're getting yours, aren't you? You've held out on my cut for the last four weeks. And unless you kick in, I'm going to move in and stay in. Now, what about my dough, big boy? What about it? I have to pay... Oh, don't lie to me. You've gambled it away. I know when, how much, and with whom. You've lost three salary checks, one after another. And last night, you gave a certain well-known gentleman a check that'll still be bouncing when Gabriel toots his horn. Listen, I... I'll do the talking, you flannel mouth, Romeo. Why, Elise thought. Matinee idol. Pride of every kitchen mechanic from here in Point South. Why, you worn out a dollars. Pull any fast stuff on me and I'll lay you out among the lilies. And little Alma Thornton is the one that can do it. Hello. Mr. Thornton, secretary speaking. Miss Cresma? Oh, in knees. Good morning, dear. Just fine. Well, that's sweet of you. Yes, Mr. Thornton is here. Just a moment, I'll call him. Great old snatcher. Hello? How are you? Of course I haven't forgotten. How could I? Uh, no, no, I have a luncheon appointment with my manager. <laughs> to discuss contracts. Yours and mine. Of course I talk to him about you. And I shouldn't be at all surprised if he gives you the lead. Oh, I'd do anything for you. Yes, yes, at 2.30. You'll ride out in the country. Somebody ought to shoot you. Get out of here. I'll borrow what I owe you from Samuels and give it to you tonight. At your hotel, see? Not here. And don't show up at that farewell party they're giving for me tonight either, understand? Don't worry, darling, I'm not interested. I've planned a little party of my own.
you forget something, dear? Give me that money. I've got a date. So have I, with a fur coat. Oh, listen now, Ma. I haven't got a dime. I've got to have money. You know that. How much do you want? Well, I'll need at least... If it's more than 50, I can't hear you. All right, give me 50. You'll owe me 75. The extra 25 is a carrying charge. Blondie mm, little... Well, this is only 40. The $10 holdout is for getting personal. <sighs> Goodbye! Geography mixed, Alice. He's a she. Charlton, come down or it gets a licking. Ah, let her roam. Let's play on a feedback. Oh, you wait here. telegram from New York. There's no record of the divorce pending between Wiley Thornton and his wife. But, Dad, he's to stop proceedings when we get to New York. You can't leave with him, Doris. You can't stop me. I can, and I will. Oh, 
how do you do, Mr. Manning? Won't you wish us luck? I'm not a hero. Just a heavy. Well, what you say? Just a minute. Quite a cake, isn't it? Yeah. 34 candles. <laughs> that ham 44 feet a day. All right, folks. Here they are. <laughs> Your new adventure, luck and success. Is the cake ready? It's been ready. Then wait a minute. And oh, 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 They use this long and proper. No, no, no. Make a wish first, and then blow out the candle. All right. Here goes. Make a wish for me, too. It won't cost nothing extra. <laughs> <laughs> lovely hair, so soft and curly. I'd love to stroke it. And did you? Why, I... No. And where were you standing, Mr. Wilden? Next to Mr. Manning. About a foot away. And you were on Thornton's left? That's right. Who was next to you? Mr. Allison, I believe. Uh, no. Uh, I was at the other side of the table, near Lola. Uh, Miss Cressner. Now, let's get together on this. Was that where you were? Yes, I... I think so. I... I don't know. Same old story, Jim. Someone gets shot in the excitement, and everybody forgets everything. Okay. What's that? Never mind, I'll write you a letter about it next week. Are you sure you were on the stage? Why, I... I think so. I must have been. Because... Because I had a pretzel in my hand and... There, old man, sit down. Rest. Now let's get together. Let's concentrate. Can anyone tell me from what point they think they heard the gunshot? From the right side. Right all side. right, all right. Never mind the second verse. Now again. Careful this time. Did anyone see a gun flash before, during, or after the shot? How many times should I tell you we didn't see a flash? Are you sure Thornton's dead? Sure. <laughs> Whoever held the gun probably had it wrapped up. What did it sound like to you? 
Like a pistol shot. Yeah, that helps. Was everyone on the stage when the lights came on? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, including the monk. No cracks out of you, Mooney. Does anyone know who came with a gun? Really ought to be a gun. Yes. That's just what I was about to say. The ballistic report shows that the bullet was fired from an unrifled gun. Ha! Say, I've got a hunch. Hey, where are you going? Back in a minute. It's gone. What's gone? The gun. What gun? The gun that works in the show. It was an unrifled gun. And what's more, there are five bullets missing out of the box. I counted them. Oh-ho! Oh-ho, you're fanny. I didn't do it. Somebody must have swiped it off of my table. Were you in the property room? Yes. There you are. It's in the bag. Lock them up, boys. Just a minute, Marty. Ain't you jumping at conclusion? Sure, the conclusion that he did it. He misses in the room and his own daughter accused him. <laughs> ABC. Colossal. Sounds logical, all right. Mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead, Jim. But make it fast. I'm satisfied. Where was this gun? On my table. Were you near the table? In the property room? Yes. Did you touch the gun? Yes. Why? A subconscious act. <laughs> was anybody else there with you? I was. There you are. He was in love with a girl. She broke the engagement, and he shot him. Titanic. Who shot who? Yeah, um, he did. Uh, both of them. Um, one of them. Yes, you're getting me all confused, Marty. Okay, Jim. Uh, you question him. Try and get me confused. Did you and Mr. Manning leave the room together? No. Mr. Manning left first. Was the gun on the table when you left the room? Was it? I... I don't remember. Did you have the gun in your hand? No. In that case, you couldn't have taken it with you when you went out. Colossal! Prodigious! What? Prodignasian! Be. What were you and Weldon doing in that room? Talking? About what? It will come out eventually, so I may as well tell you now. <laughs> My daughter was on the verge of making a terrible mistake, and I meant to prevent it. How? Oh. I asked Carrie's help. We were going to kidnap her before she got on the train with Bond. But you shot him instead? No. Any more questions? Nope. I guess you've got to lock him up, Marty. Right again, Jim. Lock him up, boys. And don't you try to leave town, young fella. Tell Doris. Yes, I will. So long, Marty. I'm going home and get some sleep. Sleep? Can you imagine what would happen to this case if I went to sleep? Now, let me see. Three sides of the set were pushed back like that. According to that actor man who gave the toast, he was standing here. The old man was here, near to that young Weldon fella. Now, the question is, what become of the gun? Guns don't disappear into thin air. And there was a gun. Of course, the guy was shot. Ah, no fool. When you get talking like that, I remind me of <laughs> Marty Gallagher. <laughs> now, if I'd have done it, and didn't want to be found with a gun on me, what would I have done with it? I wouldn't have thrown it there, because it would have landed on the back one. That side, there only furniture and junk. This side, just a brick wall. And out front, nothing but seats. They look in all those places, anyhow. Beside the old fool, it would have made a noise wherever it landed. Duck! Duck! Gun it all! 
Of course you can quote me as saying Manning did it. You know how to put it, Mooney. Captain Marty Gallagher, Martin Gallagher, of the local police department, states that he expects to have the case completed within 24 hours. Better make it 48. What about the gun? Oh, it'll turn up. Yeah, it wouldn't be healthy for you to slip up this time, would it? What do you mean, this time? Well, Hanby worked out that Donaldson case for you, didn't he? He did not. I put it right in his hands. I didn't want to take all of ours. You know how it is. Yeah, I know. Sure, I can afford to be generous once in a while. Say, <laughs> ain't he the funniest looking dick you ever saw? You ever look in the mirror? Yeah, sure, I always... What? Say, you. Gallagher speaking. Yeah. What? Be right there. What's breaking? We just found Thornton's secretary in a room at the Antis Hotel. Somebody shot her. Is she dead? No, dying. Dead? Not yet. Has she talked? She was conscious a second before you came in. Mumbled something about being Alma Thornton, that actor's wife. Ha! Huh. Wife? That's what she said. What I've been saying all along. I knew there's a woman in somewhere. She, she, la... Femme, as in female. Hmm. Think she'll make it? One chance in 50 if we get her on the table in time. Come here. Who are you? I'm the manager of the hotel. This will be bad for business. What do you know about it? Nothing very much. She must have tried to phone for help after it happened, because at about 2 o'clock her light flashed up and stayed on. Princeton here came up and found her. Come here. Was the door locked? Yeah, yes, sir. Was she on the bed? Yeah, yes, sir. Is that all you can say? Yeah, yes. I mean, no. Yes, that's what I mean. Yes, I know. Uh, how long has she been here? She registered under the name of Alma Jenkins from Akron about a month ago. Akron, eh? This was clenched in her hand. <sighs> Here's my case, Mooney. It's in the bag. Hello there. Wiley Thornton's photograph. All you girls seem to have loved it.
bet you that's what I would have done with it. Oh, Mr. Weldon. I came to get Miss Manning's bag. I'll get them for you. Uh, no, thanks. I know where it is. <laughs> Say, I, I got to make the rounds again. Don't forget to close the door when you go out. I won't. This rope was fastened with only one turn. That might have fallen and hurt someone. There wasn't anything up there that you wanted, was there? Why, no. I just came down to get Miss Manning's bag. She's waiting for me. I'll run along. Wait a minute. Listen, son. Lies are a shortcut to the police station. You were for something. What was it? That's what I think, too. I was watching. I'll be a witness to it. Have you anything to tell me? Well, I was doing a little investigating. That's Marty Gallagher. But seems to me a lot of people got this investigating idea at about the same time. Better think of a sound alibi, son. The muffs have got into that one of yours. Terry Weldon's here. Oh, he is, is he? Well, that's just fine. <laughs> I thought I'd find you here. Looking for the gun, wasn't he? I hadn't got round to asking him that, Marty. Weren't you? I came to get Miss Manning's bag. Well, I'm here to play ping pong with Jimmy Walker. It's all right, Jim. You can go home and get some sleep. It's in the bag. He tried to lower one of them drops, Mr. Gallagher. Oh, so that's where you threw the gun. Pretty smart. It ain't there, Marty. I covered all this territory before he arrived. What gun did you use to kill Alma Thornton? What the devil are you talking about? Has somebody else been murdered? The Thornton's wife, who's posing as a secretary, is dying a bullet wound. This half check of his for ten grand payable to Wiley Thornton was found in her hand. Don't you see, Jim? That means that he was there, had a struggle with her to get away, and shot her. Didn't you? I never heard of her. <laughs> what about that? I gave it to Thornton in his apartment Monday, rather last Tuesday morning. <laughs> what for? 
with the understanding that he wouldn't come to the party, that he would leave on an earlier train for New York without Doris. And when he did show up, you shot him? No, I didn't. Yeah, well, I know you did. Now, you'd better think up some absent treatment for about 2,000 volts. You're in a spot. Lock him up. Say, Dave, you're off in about 10 minutes, aren't you? I hope so. How about jumping into some chow mein and a ride in the old hack? In your hack? Yeah. No, thanks. I'll have a waffle. You've got a waffle. What delay you? How is she, Doc? It's only a matter of minutes. Has she talked? Nothing coherent. The incoherencies sometimes help. What you say? Just muttered something. Sounded like lovely. 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 Lovely Holmes. That's a hunch. I'm glad I thought of it. Say you. Hello, Faye. Hi. Right. the morning. Police station. Arsenic to you and drink hearty. Got it, talking? Yeah. Give me 37. Well, it's in the bag. Ryan, radio the boys to pick up Lovely Holmes. Yeah. He'd probably be trying to duck town. Pay the stations to cover all the roads. Yeah. And get him. Understand? Sure, he did it. Okay. Oh, I'm going home to get a little sleep, Marty. No good my sticking around. Now you're getting everybody locked up. Okay, Jim. And if anything breaks, I'll cut you in. Thank you, Marty. Thank you. Got a match? Yes, thanks. Sure, it looks like Marty will have the whole bloom in town locked up by the morning. Call you back. Did I hear you making a crack about me? About you, Pelsy Wellsy? No. Say, any more suspects? Yeah. I think the monk did it. Marty Gallagher says yes. <laughs> What's that idiot trying to do? Make a fool out of me? Good morning, dear teacher. Good morning to you. Did the monkey shoot Wiley Thornton? No, for two cents, I'd throw you out of that window. Says Hitler. I thought I was doing you a favor. You do me a favor? From now on, you're off the list. Get that? Off the list. Okay, if that's the way you feel about Get it. Get out of here. All right. How would you like to locate Lovely Holmes? And how would you like to do what I'm thinking? All right, I guess I'll have to take this up with Mr. Hanby then. Wait a minute. Who, me? What are you talking about? Lovely Holmes. Do you know something? The great Mooney knows all, sees all. Then spill it. Say you're sorry. For what? For abusing me all the time. She's not a he, he's a she. And she's Lovely Holmes' latest flash. She was arrested at 4.30 this morning on South Road doing 70 miles an hour. With Holmes? Yes and no. While they were booking her in the station, somebody saw a guy jump out of the rumble seat and drive away. That guy was Holmes. He's probably in Illinois by now. Nope, wrong again. In a Harrisburg jail. Booked on a charge of reckless driving. Under the name on the license slip. T.F. Blake. Tommy Blake. Get it? Here, I'll draw you a diagram. Say, how do you know all this? A news blurb from Harrisburg. Picked up the name, a Mooney guess, a phone call, and came straight to my palsy welder. Yeah? You cut my throat for a dime. When did the price go up? I was there all night. I'd be a fool to deny it. After that clerk identified my picture. But I didn't shoot the dame, and that's on the level. You'll have a hard time making that stick, lovely. <laughs> You're telling me? Got a match. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, boys. My pal. I don't know who told him. Hope you don't mind, Marty. You see, I was in your office when they phoned. I thought I'd better come over and have a little chat with Lovely here. Mm-hmm. Why'd you kill Bond? Why'd you shoot his wife? Ah, oh, blow out your fuse. You're sputtering. You'll be sputtering in the hot seat. What do you know about this check? Thornton gave it to me for a gambling debt. No, he did, did he? Yes, he did, did he? Night before last. I was going to the positive Monday, but when I heard somebody shot him, I thought it looked bad if I cashed it. So I went to Alma Thornton. Ha! How'd you know she was Thornton's wife? 
She came in my place one night looking for him. Go ahead. I went to her and offered her a slice of the check if she'd get it cashed. But she tried to hog the whole thing. So you shot her in the argument? No, I didn't shoot her. Suppose you didn't kill him either? I did not. Where were you when he was shot? I don't remember. Ha! <laughs> you don't remember? Talk it over with your lawyer before you did, eh? Oh, I was drunk somewhere. With a dame I never saw before. When did you leave the lady? It was after the murder. I remember that because the extras were out. Lovely? I believe you. In a big package. Well, this washes it up. Motive, robbery. You knew Thornton had the check. You killed him for it. When his wife tried to figure for a larger slice, you shot her too. You've got to prove that. Better remember who that gal was, son. Lock him up. Good work, Captain Gallagher. ABC, Perkins. Stupendous. In the bag, eh, Jim? Uh, maybe all right. No maybe about it. He did it. He might have. I've got to admit that. Well, what more do you want? Proof. Got to go now. My plane's waiting. Oh, so you flew down, huh? I'll spit the ante with you. Okay, come along. See you later, Stoop. Much later. Mr. Handy, this is... Oh, I wanted Mr. Handy. Yes. Tell him Miss Kresner called. Miss Lola Kresner. At the Edwin Booth Theatre. It's very important. That's right. Thank you. Dad didn't do it, did he, Mr. Hamby? Well, I don't know exactly. I don't think he did. But that Mr. Gallagher. Oh, shucks, Marty will be locking me up next. <laughs> did Carrie? Well, he might have. You think he did? No, I didn't say that. I mean to say I think I think I know who did it. It sounds all mixed up. But what I'm trying to say is, I ain't positively certain who did it. Is there anything I can do? Well, you might go down to the jail and see that young Weldon fella. I'm ashamed to face him. Now, you take an old fool's advice. And if you happen to love him, sort of, tell him about it. I'll go down before matinee. Right now. That's the idea. You'll feel all the better for it, and so will he. By the way, is that Miss uh, Watchamacola, Miss Kresma, working today? Oh, yes. No matter what happens, the show goes on. What? Oh, nothing, nothing. Only it seems pretty brave of her going back to work after losing her little sister. Thanks for the autographs. I'll let you have them back. Now, you do as I tell you. Doggone it. Begins to look like that Kresma girl done it. Yes, sir. He must have known that little kid was dead before she came to the party. A nice girl like her don't kill even a skunk without a reason. And the reason in this case ain't very hard to see. Doggone it all. Jim, you old fool. You're always getting mixed up in something unpleasant. And you can say at present writing that it looks like Holmes is my best bet. But, on the other hand, there's Manning and this fella Weldon. It's a sense one of them did it. I'll match it. Go away, you're getting in my hair. Why don't you give yourself up? No, that's a good... Will you please go away, Mooney? Get out. Let me think. <laughs> say, what am I bid for an A number one clue? You and your clues. I got more suspects now than I need. 
you ever read the papers? Not your sheet. Then you probably haven't seen what I saw. I saw Esau sawing wood. Esau, I saw eat. What would you do without your old palsy wellsy? The great Mooney sees all, knows all. Well, what about it? I get it. I get it. The kid killed herself because of Thornton. And Lola shot him. You know I had a hunch all along as a woman mixed up in it. Shershe La. Fem, as in female. 1.30. Matinee at 2. Your cage, honey. Get back to your cage. What's going on? Travel is on the loose and everybody is stepped in there. Yeah. Come on, keep waiting the door. Stand back, everybody. The monk plugged him. What? Yes, sir. She got him, too. What do you mean, too? Unrifled gun. It simply proves what I've been saying all along. The monk did it. One bullet killed Thornton, and the other bullet killed Mac here. And lovely Holmes shot the woman. Colossal. I guess you're right, Marty. Sure I'm right. Of course, you did your best too, Jim, but, well, you know how these things go. Yeah, but I guess you're too clever for me, Marty. Well? Some people call it luck, but go on, you folks. Get out of here. Miss Manning, you just jump right into a taxi and get down to the jail. I'll phone them to release your dad and the young man. Thanks. Mr. Henry. Oh, Miss Kresma. I never got your telephone call, and if it had been my little sister, I'd have shot Thornton myself. Besides, Marty's just proved the monk did it. 